Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I'm talking about hardware asset workspace and most importantly, these important actions that show up in the hardware asset workspace. I recently got a question on my channel of how I got these to show up in hardware asset workspace. And I honestly didn't know the answer. I was like, well, they were just there when I installed the workspace and set up our demo environment and I didn't really give it much thought other than I assumed that there's probably some scheduled job going and calculating this because you can see here last refreshed next scheduled refresh so obviously that implies some kind of schedule and um, that's a, basically where I left it I wasn't going to look at this any further but one of my viewers and I appreciate all of the viewers of the channel asked a question when I had on the um, on one of my videos, I think it was the contract, was it models, contract, yeah, contract management. So he had installed the hardware asset workspace, but he wasn't getting all of these contract um, important action recommendations. And again, just like the hardware asset workspace, I was like, oh, I don't know, they were just there for me and I thought they were pretty cool, so I made a video. But I promised him I was going to look into it, I should be able to figure this out, and here's what I found out. So here's the secret sauce. And while this is cool, it's actually not going to help anybody, but I'll show you anyways. If um, this all lives, these actions live in its own application that ServiceNow makes called Hardware Asset Management workspace recommendations. So you can see here, I said it wrong already, but I'll hover over it and I'll zoom in. My scope is actually asset management workspace dash recommendations. That's the scope I'm in. That's when I started poking around and trying to find things. And that's where these are coming from. So if I go into um, the, well, let's start one second behind here. I just went to tables and I wanted to see all the tables that were in that particular application. So I just right clicked, showed matching on that, and you can see there I've got important action cards, important action dashboard, dashboard result, setup, setup result, and workspace. And I can tell you that you're not gonna be able to do anything with this because everything that I clicked on, even though I'm in the right application space, I can't actually do anything. But I thought this was interesting. If I go to the important action setups table, you can see I've got all the asset estate important action recommendations. I got all the contract management, the one that he was asking about recommendations, inventory. There's 33 of these total in my environment. Your mileage may vary. Um, and there's model management, missing manufacturer, model number, name, et cetera, et cetera. The one thing that you could do, and this might help my viewer, is you can change whether these are active or not, okay? So that actually might be your issue, that may be why you're not seeing them. So if you see any here that are false, you may wanna change them to true, but let me show you why you can't do anything else other than change the active. There's the active button right there, but there's some stuff going on under the hood for these actions. You got query result script, card metadata script, and I'm not gonna pretend like I know anything what those mean. I mean, I can read a script, and I can tell it's querying, and calculating, and doing things, but I'm just not familiar with this application. ServiceNow has got it locked down. So they're basically hardware asset management, or asset management, is one of those licensable products in ServiceNow. And so a lot of what I'm showing here on the screen is the value add for those products and subscribing to them. So if you don't subscribe to them, you're not gonna be able to use them, and obviously they wouldn't want you to reproduce it on your own. So I can see why this might be locked down, one, because it's proprietary, and two, because there's, there's, no, uh, there's no way to kind of make this available yet. So could they make this available? I guess they could, um, depending on how you've licensed the product. But for now, if you're interested in these important actions, the only thing you're gonna be able to do is flip your application scope to Asset Management Workspace Dash Recommendations, and then hop over to the important action setup table. There's more than this table, so you may need to go look other places, but I did see this active field, and you can change it if you're in the right application scope. I hope my viewer found this video helpful. I hope all of you found this video helpful if you're into hardware asset management or asset management in general. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in asset management important action recommendations from ServiceNow in the asset management workspace. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.